Hi everyone, so today we are going to learn how to migrate or transfer your website from any hosting to cloud-based hosting. So this is the sample website that today I will migrate. So the first thing we have to do is check the link in the description. You will find a promo code for signing up for Cloudways and my referral link. So use that. That will help supporting the channel. You won't have to pay anything extra. And in case you need any further help, you will get priority support from me. Uh, you, all you have to do is just post in the comments and I will try to try my best to help you out. Okay, so let's uh, sign up quickly. All you have to do is simply fill your details and in promo code, you can enter smart 10. Okay, and click on the I agree to the terms and condition, then click on start free and then you will have to activate your cloud based account and it's the simple process. So I will not waste your time. I will directly log into my account and show you the next steps. After creating your cloud based account and activating it, you will get a three days trial if you are signing up for the first time and then you will have to pay to continue to use it. So that's how it works and um, this is the dashboard okay so you can see i already have a server here um, it will show blank for you but what you have to do is here click on this icon add new server okay from here select wordpress select the latest version here and then you can name your app okay after that you have to select one of the cloud service providers and since now Cloudbase is basically a DigitalOcean company, so you will get the cheapest rate with DigitalOcean um, and you can continue to use it, there is no problem. So the cheapest option will start from $1 and if you select the uh, premium version, that will increase. And if you select the 2GB, then uh, the price will increase. So depending on your traffic and your requirements, you can select the server size. So just for this demo, I will pick the cheapest one and then select the service location which is closest to your audience. I will select Singapore and then click on launch now. Now this will take like about five to seven minutes. You can also see the time that it will require to set up and configure the server. So you just have to wait for it to complete. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes for this process to complete. Now you can see the server I just added, it's um, showing this application and other details. So what you have to do is click on this www. Um, and then you can see all the applications installed. And by applications, I mean websites. So a single server can have multiple websites. And if you want to know more about that, you can check my other tutorials. Okay, so now click on this uh, website we just created. And from here, you can see all the details about this. So if we click on this link, it will take us to the temporary URL. Um, this is the temporary URL provided by Cloudways for every website you create. We can change this uh, to our permanent domain later after the migration is complete. Okay, so to make things easier to understand, I have divided it in two windows. So this is the uh, old website. You can see its title here, WP Testio, and the, it's the this is the new website, and its title is this temporary cloud-based URL. So that's how we are going to differentiate between the old website and the new website. Now let's begin the migration process. For that, log into the admin area of your old WordPress website. Okay, from here go to plugins and go to add new and search for Cloudways. So we need to use this plugin Cloudways WordPress Migrator. Click on install now and activate this plugin. So this is the default plugin provided by Cloudways. Now here fill your email address then click on i agree to the terms and condition so this is the basic default plugin provided by cloudways so when you are trying to migrate any website yourself to cloudways this is the first plugin you should try and if this doesn't work then you will have to try other ways and or you can also reach to the support click on migrate and here you will have to fill this details so here this is the destination url so now let's go to the Cloudways dashboard area here. And from here you can see this the application URL. Um, so just open this in a new tab and from here you can copy this. I will paste it here 
and similarly the IP address of the server is this click on copy and paste it. sorry okay now paste it here and you will have to um, copy paste this database details and for this SFTP username and password we have to create a new one here so you can do so from here just create a random username and password okay now copy the details and paste it here now by default you can keep this uh, options no and then click on migrate so this application will automatically validate the details you have provided and if there is any error it will show you like if you entered a wrong password or username or something then um, it will show you the error and you can fix it from there okay so right now you can see all the details we provided were correct and you can see uh, it's showing progress bar so it will take few minutes depending on the website size okay now you can see uh, this message here the migration is complete and it also shows you the next step so you can see here now we have to connect our domain enable SSL and you know make sure that everything is working so my advice would be please don't um, connect your domain right now please first verify everything so I will show you this is the old website this is the old URL okay and you can see the title here so I will just refresh it and see if the migration is complete or not okay so you can see here the page is exactly like our old website there's no difference you can see this is the old URL uh, new URL temporary cloud based URL this is the URL of the old website we migrated and both these websites are completely identical and to log into this website earlier we could do it from here using the credentials available here but now we have to use the credential of our old website so we'll just try to log in and see if everything is working on the backend side of WordPress now you can see everything seems to be working fine I can also log into the backend area of WordPress but I would recommend you to please check it properly uh, every image or your post and everything is working spend some days uh, if required depending on how complicated your website is and make sure everything is working only then point the domain and connect SSL and uh, all the next steps okay so I will show you the next step we have to connect our domain first go to this website lookmydns.com this is my website I have created this tool to help people create website and migrating um, so what we will do is um, check this old website domain and see where what is the IP it is pointing at so from here I will select a and click on find so you can see it will check with multiple DNS servers across the world and currently it is pointing to this IP and if we go back to the cloud based dashboard here you can see uh, the IP of our server is this and it's uh, completely different okay now if we check this temporary um, domain and paste it here click on a and you can see our temporary domain is pointing to this IP so to make this domain point to our new cloud based server we have to log into the domain management website so in this case this domain is registered at Namecheap so I will show you from that Namecheap or GoDaddy I will check that and show you okay so I have logged into my GoDaddy account uh, and if your domain is with some other domain provider like Namecheap or Google domains or something else then you will have to Google about it I have tutorials about Namecheap and Google domains but if you are using some other provider then you will have to Google how to update the DNS settings for that company um, so for GoDaddy it, uh, you have to do it like this log into your account then go to DNS go to name servers and you can see currently I am using this name servers so first I will have to change this to GoDaddy name servers and save this okay so sometimes uh, you will have to refresh the page if you do not see the add record options like this so what we can do is uh, delete this old record first this is the a type a record at the rate okay click on delete delete record then click on add new record select a type at the rate here and 
go to cloudways and copy this public IP and paste it here okay make sure that there are no extra spaces or anything and then keep this default click on save now another record i would recommend you to do is click on the we have actually there is godaddy add this record by default but you can um, add it like this from here go to cname www and in value put your domain name then click on save okay you can see that i already have this record so it will not add a duplicate one and this is the most important record we need for now now if i go back to this website and check where my domain is pointing to it's still showing the old ip because the dns propagation will take some time so usually it takes like 15 to 20 minutes okay so now you can see some of the dns servers have started reporting the new ip some are still processing the update so we can try to uh, generate the ssl certificate and see where the new uh, domain is pointing okay now the most important thing is let's go to the cloudways dashboard from here go to domain management and add our domain so this is my domain i will just copy and paste it and just use paste the domain name um, we don't need anything else okay click on add domain okay so it has been added but um, the primary domain is the temporary url so we'll change it and make this domain primary so cloudways will automatically change um, the domain details from the database and everywhere it is required so you don't have to worry about it okay so we have changed our domain and now we have to you issue the ssl certificate for this go to ssl certificate tab so i'll go back here select let's encrypt put your email here and put your domain name and do not select this apply wildcard for this you will have to follow some additional steps click on install certificate now let's encrypt will verify first that your domain is pointing to the correct ip of the server and then issue a certificate otherwise it will show you error okay so you can see the ssl certificate has also been issued and everything is working and if your website is showing some error right now you can try with a different device it could be because of the caching and my advice would be please don't delete your old website data right now and in case if you notice something missing you can always go back to the old website you just have to point your domain to the old server ip and then um, till you fix the new website and then you and then you can fix your new website so either you can try migrating again or reach to the support you know in case you need any help so that's it guys for this video i hope you found it useful please post your feedback in the comments and i will see you in the next video